Well, my first question is, how did you handle all of the uh, COVID restrictions that were put in place? And was there any hesitancy about do- joining this move, or excuse me, the series knowing that all of this stuff was going to be in place? Um, no, I mean, because it's my first job, I was just very excited to be hired. Um, and I hadn't really thought about any of the safety measures, what they would be, what they would look like. Of course, this being freeform, they'd already thought everything through and were super responsible. Um, but no, there was just like total excitement to be lucky enough to be one of the few working right now. That was just mm-hmm. incredible. How did you get to be a part of the show? Um, so Joanna approached me and my parents, um, and we essentially just like met over a zoom call and she pitched us her ideas. And I thought that it had been a very informal, just like, we're just meeting and talking thing. But I was like, Joanna's great. This idea is awesome. I can't wait to like really, you know, fight for this thing. And then I went home and took a nap and woke up to hear that we had gotten it. Um, so Uh that Yeah, there was lots of like hysterical laugh crying and my upstairs neighbors actually, because I don't live with my parents. I'm in an apartment. Upstairs neighbors sent me a text being like, hey, just want to make sure everything's okay because we are hearing a lot of crying. Um, But it was great. It was wonderful. Did you have to move in with your parents? Like how did shooting work? Because I know you you have to be quarantined for a couple of days beforehand. So how'd that work? I was with my parents. It was it was a it was an odd thing to adjust to being with them that much that close again. Um, but it was wonderful. And I have a younger brother. He's 18. He just graduated high school. And so he kind of like anytime I would get annoyed by them or anything like that, he would give me this look like, oh, you think that's bad? I've been doing this alone for a year. Um, but it was great. I mean, we're all like very close and we get along really well for the most part. So it was, it was wonderful. Well, it's really interesting that like kind of your real life plays into, uh, Sophie's life on the show because she's coming home from college and she's, you know, she wanted her boyfriend to move in and that completely changed, but she's back at home and her parents are going through some stuff. So did you use your own real life experience to kind of help uh, portray Sophie's experience? I mean, it definitely, it definitely helped for sure. The idea of yet yeah, trying to be back at home with your parents in this time that's really scary knowing that like no one has any idea what's going on I know um personally like I've never felt more helpless in a situation than like trying to look for grown-ups who have like the idea of what's like what's gonna fix this and how are we gonna get out of it and not having that figure has been very scary so that's definitely helped like knowing like oh I share that with Sophie I mean unlike her you know I didn't have to deal with a text message breakup um, and my parents aren't getting separated. So that was great. I could just really be like, all right, worst case scenario, how do you react? Um, But it was definitely helpful to know, like at least baseline, we were coming from the same place. So what do you think now? We've only seen, I've only seen the first two episodes. Fans are not going to be able to, uh, the first night, they only get to see the first two episodes. So what do you think uh, Sophie's reaction is going to be when she realizes or is finally told that her parents are indeed separated? I mean, it's a hard thing to learn. I'm sure like having not been through it myself, it's, I think it's very hard to react to something like that. Um, in a in a low-key and calm manner especially compounded with the fact that oh by the way we don't know if slash when you'll be able to go back to school Mm -hmm. um mom's not working right now and you just went through a breakup so you know to anyone let alone a slightly narcissistic um teenager that's kind of like the end of the world so this so that's there's there's a lot of there's a lot of tears and there is a lot of yelling in a small space. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I the amount of times I cried and screamed in this show, it was really like reliving my high school years all over again. It was great. Yeah. What was it like working with your parents? Because not many people can say their first job is working alongside their parents. Um, It was really incredible. It was 
I mean, I grew up watching them act. That's why mm-hmm. it's what I wanted to do. So getting to have my first professional role with them was incredible. I instantly felt really safe and comfortable in what I think would have otherwise been really overwhelming, seeing as this Mm is a very big operation. But being able to do it with my parents at their house, it just felt so intimate and I felt really safe. And there was no part of me that was like self-conscious because I'm like, these people have to love me. So it's (laughs) great. Uh, So it was a blast. It was amazing. <laughs> they have to let me in the house. I'm not leaving. <laughs> exactly. This is phenomenal. Yeah. Did they give you any advice or was it just kind of them saying, just do what you think you uh, you believe this character should do? I mean, my parents are really great about anytime I come to them asking for advice, they are happy to give it and they are great advice givers, but they're also very big believers in like giving me the space to discover things for myself. And this was one of those times where um, they were like, listen, if you need us, we're here, but you, you're the one who got this job. Like, you know how to approach this character the best as anyone. So like, this is, this is yours now, which was lovely and also slightly terrifying. Oh, parents, they just love to be like, oh, oh good luck. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, it's like, it's like when you like first learn how to drive and they're like, okay, great. So, so you have your license. You can go pick grandma up from the airport now, right? And you're like, I have to go on the freeway by myself. It was a little like that, but we made it. <laughs> well, how did you discover this character? What were your inspirations for her? Um, honestly, my inspirations for her for her were very much like me and my friends in high school. Mm-hmm. I was I was friends with, and I still love them. And we were all very annoying drama kids, so um, which we will all admit. So. Yeah. I, I think Sophie was heavily based on that, but she's also someone who is very, um, you know, she's very scared about the state of the world right now, which Mm -hmm. I could definitely relate to. And so there were lots of parts of myself I could kind of steal from and everything else. I was like, all right, let's just watch every like teenage angsty movie (laughs) ever again. And let's, and let's channel all of that energy. So that was great. Um, she also, Sophie seems also very educated. She is very involved in finding out what's going on with this virus and, you know, but basically following all of the rules, sort of. Um, so for you, do you kind of, did you get some inspiration from her in that uh, respect or was it, some, are you, have you been up to date on all of this stuff going on? I mean, I've been pretty up to date on all of it. I'm a little hypochondriacal. Like every time I get stomach Mm -hmm. um, pains, I think it's appendicitis to the point where my friends make fun of me about my obsession with appendicitis. So this, when there was a worldwide pandemic, my friends were all very much like checking in on me being like, you cannot go overboard on this, which I did for a while. Um, (laughs) And I mean, even now, I still try to stay as informed as possible without Mm -hmm. going crazy and turning Mm -hmm. into a walking like news banner. Um, But I've just always thought that it was very important to stay as safe as possible, Mm -hmm. especially because, you know, I I want to be able to see my parents and have time Mm -hmm. with them. I have a great number of friends who are immunocompromised. Like it's Mm -hmm. it's very important. Well, I think the nice thing about your guys' show is you've all found a way to be able to show these stories that are taking place from inside the home. And a lot of the times, the stories always, you know, when you're watching a sitcom or a drama, they always seem to take place in the workplace or outside. You guys have taken a small space and made something of it. So did you did you find it hard to be inside? space to be able to do like your job do you kind of wish that you had had been in a bigger more open space or do you think the confinement kind of helped um I think both are true I mean there were definitely times where like at the end of the day I would turn to my parents be like I love you guys I can't wait to be acting not with you guys and not in your house but um but this is great yeah Uh, but I also think that being able to do it in such a small place did definitely um instill a level of intimacy and um and like 
I don't know, a lack of self-consciousness that I think is hard to get mm-hmm. if you do it in a more um, magnified setting. So that was great. But I also, I want to be able to do all of it and then decide which was better. But for now, I loved it. It was mm-hmm. great. What was the one thing that you learned from not only the show, but from Sophie? Um, I learned um, to be totally true to myself. For Sophie, that means, you know, being very dramatic and following her feelings <laughs> constantly and like, you know, all of that nonsense. But I think there's something I really love about seeing um, a really bold and unapologetic girl in her late teens that was that was really exciting to get to like do and that's something that I want to try to have more of nice well I will sneak in one last question Um, for all of the kids around your age or around Sophie's age that are going through an experience like this uh, what kind of message do you have for them oh god um I would just say to to know that they're not alone. Like it's it's so it sounds so cliched, but it's really true. I mean, that's the one thing my friends and I have all been connecting over is the fact like we are all in this weird, I've been calling it hibernation. We're mm-hmm. all hibernating together. And just because it's put a lot of plans on pause or on hold doesn't mean you're behind. I think that's important to remember. Well, I think another thing that you just hit on this is it's kind of, you know, this hibernation is allowing for self-discovery too. It might not seem like it. Um, In your case, this gave you even more of a chance to expand your acting career. And hopefully we see more from you because I love your character. I love how over the top. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you very much. I know. I, I, I hope I can show you more soon.